Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Becky Truda and I'm with the channel Minimal Ease. And today I wanted to bring to you a much asked question, which is what is my whole year capsule wardrobe look like? I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I keep a wardrobe out that is for the entire year. And I'm gonna give you some key points on how you too can have a year round capsule wardrobe and why it's really beneficial for you. So if that sounds good, please hang on and remember to hit that subscribe button if you want me to come back to you next week with another video. Now, while I'm on the subject of my capsule wardrobe, I wanna let you know that after I give you a few tips and tricks of creating the capsule wardrobe, that I'm gonna show you every piece in my capsule wardrobe. So please hang on so that you can also see all the pieces. I want you to know that most of them have come from a thrift store or they've come from a store that I can also return things so that I have the opportunity to try them on and really see if I am enjoying them. So this has taken me a while. I don't want you to rush out and just buy everything that you see if you like it. I want you to really process, is it something that's gonna fit into your wardrobe? Is it gonna be colors that you enjoy? And I want it to really fit for you. All right, y'all, I sat down so I could look at my notes because I have four main points that I really want to hit home about when you create a capsule wardrobe, the rules that you should really be thinking about for yourself and trying to follow as best as you can. So number one is just the reason in general why I keep all of my clothes out at one time and I don't change things out and put things in the attic. And the big reason is that I live in Virginia and Virginia technically has four seasons, but in reality, it doesn't. In fall, it can be 70, it can be 90, or it could be 30. Today, it was around 50. So if I had had only out winter clothes, Tomorrow, when it's gonna be 69, 70, I would be very hot. And I just like to know that I have everything easily accessible in front of me. And that also, second point, I don't buy it again. The big problem that I was having when trying to create a capsule wardrobe is that I would forget what I had in the boxes that were under my bed, and then I would end up buying it again. You know that white t-shirt that you love, but then you're like, well, that's my spring white t-shirt. Why do you need to have a fall white t-shirt? Why does that need to be any different? And I just had a hard time like pulling things out, putting things away, pulling things out, putting things away, especially like I said, because I live in Virginia and you never know what the weather is going to be. The next thing, number three, I wanted to say is don't chase after someone else's style. And that is something that I very often fell into the issue of doing. I really like like, boho, hippie style. I think in another lifetime, that would be me. And I really try to chase after living in that lifestyle of like the long skirts and like the braids and the fun, but it just doesn't fit me. It, it was like I was trying to fit, you know, a round peg into a square hole and it just never felt quite right. I just have to remind myself constantly that that does not fit into my wardrobe, but I can adore it and love it on somebody else. Last point, and then we're moving on to the clothes, so hang on. All right, the last point that I wanna make is that everything in my wardrobe has more than one function. So when you go and you just buy that one outfit for New Year's Eve, the problem is that you can't use it more than that one time. So along that line, just being smart with your accessories finding things that can be multi-purpose and jazzing them up. Like I have a few pair of earrings that I absolutely adore that are really fun. They don't take up a lot of space. So I'm gonna walk you through um, pants, then my tops, then my sweaters. I'm also gonna bring in my shoes and I'm gonna bring in my jackets that I wear and I'm gonna throw in my accessories if I haven't taken up too much time.
right, I wanted to quickly just go through my shoe collection. So, <laughs> hello, buddy. So I have uh, a pair of Tory Burch flip-flops I love. I have a pair of J. Crew flats, which are like leopard print. These are dance go boots. Come here, buddy. These are the most comfortable shoes I have ever owned. Um, I actually did get these secondhand. When these shoes wear out, I will be getting these again because they are amazingly comfortable for a teacher on her feet all the time. Um, these are new. I'm still deciding whether I want to keep them. They're just fun clogs. I have a pair of winter boots and then my tennis shoes. All right, I wanted to quickly just go through some of the extra stuff that I have um, that don't necessarily go with my work wardrobe, but they are key elements of like working out or um, when I just want to be lazy or sleep attire. So I have one gray sweatshirt. I have one, two, three t-shirts that are like for working out or sleeping in. I have one white undershirt. And then this is a black skinny turtleneck. All right, so these are more seasonal items that are just for when it is really warm but I keep them in a bucket in my closet and so I know what I have when I need it. I have one pair of jean shorts, one white skirt, and one workout slash like just hanging out skort. Uh, these are a pair of leggings and then my one bathing suit. These are my accessories that I keep and use all the time to add a little flair to my outfit. I have one black belt with a gold buckle. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and a pair of hoops I'm wearing. So that's seven pairs of earrings because those are probably my favorite accessory. I have two bracelets. This one I don't wear as much. It's just really sentimental to me. And then I have this beautiful bracelet my mother-in-law gave me, Enjoy the Journey, which is what I'm going through now, <laughs> my decluttering journey. And then I have two necklaces. I used to have a ton of necklaces and I just found that I don't wear them that often and these are by far my favorite and I use them all the time. So I've stopped buying all that Stella and Dot stuff because I just found that I, as I did love it and I thought it looked really cute. I didn't wear it enough to justify taking up my space. All right, y'all, one thing I forgot, I do have two dresses. They are both midi length and they both have pockets, which is just crucial for my job and they're both acceptable to wear to work and I just throw a sweater over top usually. Um, and then I wanted to show you my closet. So this is what my closet normally looks like. I have my sweaters and then I put my two dresses up there at the top and then down below you can see my shirts. These things that I had showed you that were on the ground. Hi Biscuit! Um, they are tucked away in the baskets I have here and this is just where I keep two bras and three pairs of socks and my underwear. And this is how I keep my pants. These are all the pants that I just showed you. Um, plus the green pair of pants I was wearing originally. Um, this is where I keep them all. They're just stored in that little basket right there. And so when you have a given space, it has a home, you know you can't explode out of this home. So I know I have too many pairs of pants when it cannot fit there. This is all my husband's stuff. He's a big t-shirt junkie. Um, and then up there is where I will keep my solely summer things like those shorts I showed you and my bathing suit. All right, y'all, thank you so much for stopping by. I really enjoyed showing you my wardrobe, even though it was exhausting to try everything on. It actually was really refreshing to see that I still really enjoy all the clothes that I have in there. I know every piece gets a lot of wear and that's really important to me when I have something in my wardrobe. I wanna make sure that I love it and that it's well used. Just a reminder, if you enjoy this content on Minimal Ease and you enjoy learning about decluttering and minimizing and living your best life, then please remember to hit that subscribe button because then it will automatically show up when my next video comes out next week. See you guys later.